Welcome to High Infidelity. The best cheating videos on YouTube. If you enjoy this content, remember to subscribe and turn on notifications. Now let's get into the video. I, 29 male, found out about my girlfriend, 31 female, of 11 years affair and I am struggling to cope. My girlfriend have been together for 11 years and have one beautiful child at 7 years old and she has another child at 15 from a previous relationship. We met when I was 18 and I took on the responsibility of helping to bring up my stepdaughter as my own. Our relationship like most has gone through its ups and downs. I was young and had never been in a long-term relationship. I made mistakes, she made many more. However, for the last five years, I have been an honest, faithful, loving boyfriend. Two years ago, I decided to be as selfless and loving as I could be to everyone around me. At the beginning of the year, I had some things happen in my life which left me in a really dark place, severely depressed. In the beginning, she was there for me and she was perfect. She made me a calendar to remind me every day how she felt for me, bought a couple of heartfelt things which helped me through the hardest times. I haven't been myself for 10 months and I haven't mightily withdrawn but it was in the darkest moments that I decided I wanted to spend the rest of my life with this girl and I started to plan my proposal. My girlfriend was furloughed for most of the lockdown but eventually found a new job where she seemed so much happier. At the start of October, I found that my girlfriend was pulling away. She no longer said she loved me, no longer hugged me or kissed me, and I started to have suspicions. I worked on myself and our relationship. She would hide her phone when I was around or quickly exit WhatsApp. However, at the end of October, she started going to the gym. One night her class wasn't for hours after she finished work. Her response was that she would wait outside until the class started. It did make sense to me. I called her after work and she sounded like she was in the car. But her response was that she was working late at work and trying to get things finished up before heading to the gym. I turned to find my iPhone on to discover she wasn't where she said she was. She was outside another man's house. I confronted her about this and she lied, saying she was at work, and then switched to saying she was picking up a quick tea before class until I eventually revealed that I knew exactly where she was because of the tracker. She blew up that I invaded her privacy and that I was some freak for tracking her every move and then eventually came out with the truth that yes, indeed, she was there to meet another man she had been having an affair with a man at her new job. I asked her to come home to talk about it, but she refused and instead turned her phone off. She had invited him into her car after our conversation and they drove together to a local park and spent hours together. I went around in his house only to find that they were not there. His father opened the door and when I explained the situation, his only response was sounds about right he does this. She drove to her mum's afterwards still texting him with kisses and apologizing that I went around to his house with emojis included. Eventually we spoke and she showed me what little text she had not a chance to delete yet. He was laughing that I had almost found out about their affair a couple of days prior when she thought I was going through her phone. I had not a chance to do this yet, that I contacted him and told him how he was hurting a seven-year-old girl and he laughed at that and could only say I'm doing nothing wrong. And a one-man band. We eventually agreed that she would block him from everywhere and discussed her leaving her new job to try and work on us. She opened up about other issues we were having and one of those was money. She wouldn't ever be open to me about what kind of position she was in money-wise. She had finally been honest and told me that she was 400 overdrawn and another 300 was due to come out. I was at that fell for the fact that she was finally being honest with me and transferred her the 700. A short while later, she blocked me on all outlets and unblocked him. I had asked her to get therapy. She said she couldn't afford it. She used the 700 to book a hotel room with the man she had an affair with that costs the same amount as therapy. He says that the last 11 years have been so unhappy for her and I didn't love her enough or show her enough affection. This isn't true. I'm an affectionate person by nature and showed her love constantly. I have a 10 really dark months, but I was just starting to feel better about myself. She calls me a narcissist, a conversations full of use, refuses 50 slash 50 custody. However, I had my daughter five slash seven nights last week because she wanted to go see this man instead. I leave every conversation feeling like things were my fault, worthless, and that I should have done more this past year. She refused to sit down with the children to explain what is happening because it needed to be done with her so that she can console her children and not feel like she has abandoned them. However, because I've had my child almost every night, that's impossible. It's not fair on her. She's asking questions specifically about what cheating is. I also felt like, why should I have to feel like I've abandoned her? Why should we do it on her terms? I didn't make these choices. She did. To top it all off, yesterday I found out that the man she has chosen has a problem with drugs to the point that he's not allowed to see his current children and recently dumped his ex because he got her pregnant and wouldn't abort their baby. Sorry if this is a lot or all over the place, my head is a mess at the moment. 
There's a lot more, but I think this is long enough. Does anyone have any advice? Now look at some comments. Go for full custody, get a restraining order against your ex. She sounds abusive and is risking the health of your daughter by being with this guy. The thing that is getting to me the most is that she believes without a shadow of a doubt that this was all my fault. She says I'm a manipulator and a narcissist and have been for years, that thanks she got out when she could. It's so hurtful to hear. I haven't manipulated her or mistreated her, but it's like she has invented a part of me that doesn't exist, claiming there was only unhappy times for the last 11 years. This is not relevant. Hurtful for sure, but should not be what you are focusing on right now. While you are worried about optics, she's blowing up your life. Call a solicitor right now. Record everything about your childcare situation. Proof won't affect much, but it's good supporting information when it comes out to determining access and such. If she is stacking up with an addict, inquire what you can do to keep your kid away, etc. Right now, protect your kid and yourself. She will believe whatever she wants to justify her actions. Don't get caught up in that torrent of nonsense. As hard as it is, pull yourself up and get it done. When you are safer, that is the time to let yourself feel what you need to. Thank you. I really needed to hear that. I'm worried about how this will affect our daughter over Christmas. If spending money on things like a lawyer or mediation is selfish when I would be spending it on her for presents. It is not your fault. If she was so unhappy, she should have had the decency to break up with you before she got pregnant all those years ago. But she was unhappy. What she's doing now is what is called blame shifting and rewriting the relationship history. It is what unrepentant cheaters do to make themselves look as good to outside eyes as possible. And make sure you notify all your family and friends of what she is doing before she spins a false narrative painting you as an abusive selfish. Yeah, my ex is the same way. Nobody wants to be the bad guy in their own life, so they rationalized everything. This is normal. I don't think my ex will ever admit to herself what she's done. She buried that so deep, and when I finally confronted her, she just shut down like a robot with a programming error. Lawyer up ASAP and write down every day when she leaves you alone with the kids. First thing you need to do is to protect your rights as the father of the kid. The rest comes later. So go to a lawyer ASAP and tell the lawyer about your situation exclamation then finish what she has started. Don't allow her to keep on treating you like this. Look for a new apartment and find out how quickly you can leave the current one. Change all your passwords and if she has any chances to use your bank account, then make sure that she no longer can do that. Never again give her any money, no matter how much she begs for it. She made her decision you need to follow up now and be quick. In addition, go to a doctor and get tested for STD. Your health is utterly important. Start with that right now.